Well, do you want to start your own business, but you're not exactly sure just how to do that? Elizabeth Pran has a look at how some business owners are getting off the ground in this rough economy. Elizabeth, how are they doing it? Well, they are getting off the ground. They're doing it by opening up franchises because, believe it or not, there are more than 400,000 franchisees, uh, excuse me, 700,000 uh, franchisors across the United States. It's wildly a popular, especially for entrepreneurs who are first time business owners just trying to get off the ground because there's a model in place for them to follow, also, peers to consult, and even a franchisor who they can answer to. One Atlanta mother who we spoke with, her name is Bindu Reddy, she always wanted to open up a school, but she tells tells us that her software engineering degree as well as her MBA didn't really set her up in the education sector, which is why she contacted a Goddard school. There are 370 of these early education programs across the nation. It's proven over and over again to be a successful one. In fact, it's the number one child care franchise in the U.S. by Entrepreneur Magazine. Take a listen. In place that makes sure that you know it manages it's, it manages the standards across the board, uh, be it the quality of education we are providing, be it the safety of the children. So all these mechanism, mechanisms in place, that helps me. I know that you know what I may miss is something that the franchise uh, is supporting me with. And one local marketing expert who we spoke with say the school is so successful, partly due to Reddy's background, as well as, ironically enough, a, a tough economic landscape because he said so many weaker business owners were weeded out. The shift that happened in 2008 is the economy has definitely taken a nosedive and it, it was going up, up, up. So franchisors were able to award franchisees left and right. You went to the bank, you got your financing, bingo, you're in. But what started happening is now the bank started shutting off, the credit line started shutting off, and the peak where everything started sinking, now only the elite franchisees were being let into the system. And Reddy says she has about 100 students in her school. She's only been open for a year, but she says around this fall, she'll be at full capacity. Shannon, back to you. Always good to have a little bit of success during this economy. Yes. Great to hear the story. Elizabeth, thank you. Thanks. All right, check this out.